Look at that. Wow. With authority. Now he's going to rewrap it. That was freaking awesome. He knows he can't take this food down any way but the right way. We can see how this snake is going to find the head of this rodent and recoil. I think one of the coolest things is to watch an established snake reposition himself and recoil the food so that he can eat it. All he's going to do is find the head. I would literally have to de-latch the snake because he would eat him the wrong way. But that's not going to be the case anymore. He knows that this is too big for him to eat backwards. So he's going to struggle until he finds the head. If the snake was younger, he would just go ahead and, and eat it where he bit it. But he knows that it's not going to be that easy to take this down. So he's going to work himself around until he finds the head or find some way to get that head in first. I want to see him pull it out and recoil it. He sees me down here with the camera. That's what he's looking at. The difficulty what this snake is going through. You've seen some of my other videos when he eats very small mice. He'll just grab it and eat it sideways or eat it any way that he can. But he knows that if he takes this gerbil down backwards or the wrong way, that it's going to be very hard for him to swallow and it's going to be very hard for him to digest that way. And it could also cause regurgitation by eating too big of food backwards. I want to see him grab it from behind and recoil it. That's what I want to see. That would be freaking awesome. He's loosening up and getting it to drop down a little bit. I just hope he doesn't drop the, the rodent, which would be weird. I've never seen that happen before, but it could happen. Amazing how loosely he can hold this item without dropping it until he finds the proper way to eat it. on the recoil. Come on, you gotta pull off of it, pal. You ain't gonna be able to eat it like that. There he goes. Look at that. You see how amazing this is? That this snake, he actually just had that thing in his mouth. And he took it out because he knew that that was not the way to approach this. As you can see, a much more exposed head, the snake actually put the rodent into position where he's gonna be able to now get a nice, easy feeding because the head is now exposed. He's going to be able to take this down with the grain of the fur of the rodent. And once he realizes to come back around, right now he's just looking to see where he got the head in his coils. There he goes. He's got him. He sees him. He's got him. Bingo. Way to go, Dominique.